I'm in the Scrivener's dormitory. Koran here seems to have right. smoked too much white leaf. I'm not sure about the other people here. I'm not sure if anything will come of this. I just wanted to visit the area. You must be here for Corin. Well, I've already met Corin, and he's, uh... <laughs> I'm not his dealer or anything. I don't know how Corin's hidden his little racket from... Oh, excuse me. Who is he hidden it from? It's really none of my business, though. Someone's been sneaking naughty pictures from old Valia into the dorm. I won't say who. Corin. <laughs> Corin's responsible for everything. A rancid stench rises from the basin. The dishes at the top of the pile are flecked with... Morsels of meat and cheese. Those at the bottom are coated in a slimy fuzz. Hello. It smells like old stockings in here. You guys really need to air out this place. The sturdy bunks are topped with thin blankets and even thinner mattresses. The sturdy bunk... Same thing. Well... I don't see any reason to, for me to come here. Let's leave. Time to go. Alright. Well, it's evening. There's really only this last place, the Hall of Mysteries. I'm not sure if they're going to allow us to come in there at this time, though. I can always try it. it. Doesn't hurt to ask, normally. Okay. All these pages serve no better use than yeah. fuel for the fire. Right. There's learning to be had here, Durance. Hello. Hail and well met. The woman barely glances up from the tomes on the table as I approach. You're welcome to browse the stacks, but mind that you keep your voice down. This is a temple, after all, and Grimda doesn't tolerate disorder. Who's Grimda? Fexa speaks reverently. Why, she's the High Archivist. She's one of the most accomplished scholars alive today. Nothing goes on here without her knowing about it. Almost nothing, anyway. She scratches behind her ear. You should probably tread lightly around her today. Anything else? This is a temple? It looks like a library. Her eyes grow wide and round. That's because it is. Whale is the god of mysteries and answers, encryption and decryption, concealment and revelation. She raises her hand to the rows of shells. The, its guidance comes from the understanding of the unknown and the protection of hidden knowledge. The Hall of Revealed Mysteries was built to celebrate that. To think, there's such a place in the Deerwood. Incredible. I love a glimpse of the archives. How many secrets must sit upon these shelves? That didn't really answer my question. She sighs and rolls her eyes. Yes, it's a library of source. Temples dedicated to whale tend to hold vast stores of knowledge. We use that knowledge to unravel and preserve the mysteries of the world. Tell me about yourself. She throws her broad shoulders back. I'm a scrivener and a devotee of whale. It's my duty to look after our records and resources. Her chest swells with pride. All right then. I guess I'll be looking around. Priest of whale. Hello? Excuse me. Really? So you don't want me to come talking to you? So it's okay if I just pick up books and examine them? Ten Years of Dawn? Add to your customs. I guess this leads to other places here. Other rooms. Well, let's have a look about. I'm not sure how much this will interest me. Hello. As you near, you feel a vibrant history contained in the essence of this man's soul. Voices from his past seem to call it to you. Reach out for the soul. You see nothing at first. Inky darkness filling your vision. The dust of eons flooding your nose. You hear a strike and a torch gutters into flame, revealing a man without a face and a library of books flickering in the dull orange glow. He moves to the closest shelf, sliding the torch into a socket and gingerly pulls a black bound book into his trembling hands. He flicks through it lovingly, caressing each page before turning to the next and the next. Finally, he finishes, placing the book in a satchel to his side and takes down the torch. He spends hours wandering, reading, collecting, until his satchel is sick as he himself and half as he himself and half as heavy and begins to make his way back to the entrance. With a barely audible sigh, he too draws decaying doors closed and the torch is extinguished. I think I didn't quite read that correctly, mm. uh, that man, but anyways. 
The books on these shelves cover the history and mythology of Old Valia. Mm hmm. This one's all lit up. The symbols on these pages wreathe and shift. They're dizzying to look at. Well, I don't know if there'll be any anything interesting for me to look for. Here's Midwife's memoirs. I could read them from off the shelves, I suppose, if I really want to. But I don't have any particular yeah. book that I'm searching for. Hello? May the hundred visions be revealed to you. Books. I like books, I just don't know if they'll be okay if, with me taking everything. Hello? I love the smell of old books. Very musty. True stories from the living sand lands. Hello. Grimda has been furious ever since that scroll went missing. Keep searching. The obscured leaves clues for those who seek. Hello. Good day to you. An elderly dwarf surveys the stacks. Her skin looks as tough and wrinkled as a walnut. Despite her stature, she managed to look down at her nose at you. You're welcome to look around, but let the priests and scriveners continue their search. She shoots the nearest robe figure a withering glare. Wouldn't do to give them any other excuses. What are you looking for? Maybe I could find it. She sizes me up, stroking her chin. Could you now? She scowls at the robe priest again. You certainly couldn't do worse than this lot anyway. The thieves made off with an ancient scroll of whale. They intended to blaspheme by selling that which should remain hidden, a secret of the hundred visions. Her wiry eyebrows arch, arch and over her spectacles. The guards caught one of them but were overzealous in their interrogation. All they could piece together was something about a farmhouse and the road to Deerford. Track the thieves down. I don't care what you do with them. But bring back the scroll. Whale rewards the persistent seeker, and so do I. An ancient scroll of whale. That's a fine prize. I mean, a worthy task. What else do you need? I had questions about the missing scroll. Ask. Tell me what you know about the thieves. Very little, except that they were foolish to believe they could steal from the god of secrets. That, and they were fleeing to a farmhouse. How should I handle the thieves? However you can. Kill them, rob them, leave them. It makes no difference to me. She waves a hand and smiles grimly. I'll consider it one of Whale's mysteries. What's so special about the scroll? Whale is the god of secrets. If I told you that, I'd cheapen it, wouldn't I? She cackles. It's a parable. The kind that nourishes the inquisitive mind and poisons the foolish. Let's talk about something else. Tell me about yourself. I am the high archivist of the Hall of Revealed Mysteries. She coughs loudly into her fist. And I am too old and too busy to be bothered with inane questions. Even just one or two? Count of size. I'd like to know more about the whale. Her smile reveals a row of crooked teeth. That's the rub, isn't it? Whale is the god of things hidden and revealed. The more of the hunter vision one sees, the more one has yet to discover. Though we often call whales he who sees and is not seen, it is neither male nor female to assign any definitive characteristic to whale as to miss another essential part of his divinity. The hunter visions? A term of reverence for whales, many revelation. Despite the name, they're infinite. Each epiphany leads to yet another enigma. And I thought I was busy. <laughs> All right, I'll see about getting that scroll back to you. Farewell. On the way to Deerford. And possibly, this painted eye seems to move whenever you turn your back. Interesting. That which can never be fully discovered, one's eternally looking for it. In a way, it is kind of like life, but this is purposely kept cryptic. People and the gods. No entry into the archives without Grimda's permission. The archives. Okay. Well, I don't want to upset them, so... What, what did this say? Elder archives. Okay, well, I'm not going into there. Could I not go here? Final Journal of Jonas. My son, tomorrow I become the effigy. Tomorrow I become Skane's embodiment on Aeora. Tomorrow my master chokes on his own whip. For months we met by secret conclave to plot our landlord's demise, all the while working the fields as our heart, if our hearts were content. Skane teaches us to plot with the mind while keeping one's face impassive, inscrutable. Fair fights are for those with armies. The quiet slave is our wet so whetstone, our focus. In his worship we cause... we. Our cause finds focus, clarity, and possibility. Tomorrow my master chokes on his own whip. 
By the time you read this, I will be dead. I pray Skane does not abandon me for speaking of my plotting, but a son deserves to know how his father died. For I have volunteered to be the effigy. Skane will inhabit my body, using this old farmer's simple flesh as a puppet of godly rage. I have been shaved and anointed. Tomorrow morning I will be your father in name only as my manhood will be removed. My nose and ears removed. And my useless mortal eyes will be replaced with flint stones through which Skane might see the world. Oh, okay. My son, I am sorry for the lies I have told you these past few seasons, but Skin demands secrecy. Even your mother knows nothing of my furtive service to the quiet slave. Curse my name if you must, but never weep for me, for I die for the betterment of our community to smite our lord's corruption from the face of Eora. Tomorrow, my master chokes on his own whip, for tomorrow I become the effigy. Wow. I thought uh, reading the person who had to break his fingers off was bad. That things people do in this world. All right. Time to go. So we've explored everything in this section of the city. I say it's time to go down to the catacombs. There's nothing else to do on the surface as it is pretty late anyways. The catacombs are down here. So let's go that way. I don't really expect to face that many deadly creatures down there. Maybe some more black ooze. Possibly another troll. But we're, we're ready. We're well rested. We've been wandering around the this section of the city all day. Just have to make sure I look out for traps. I don't think that there will be traps in the sewers, but I don't know. For all I know, we'll be running into other th Zorups or whatever. These aren't really so much the sewers as they are. There are sewers here, but it's called the catacombs. Catacombs of the city. Now, if I remember right, we didn't go into this room. Let's go into here now and search. I'm on the trail. Hmm. Oh, there's a black ooze right there. Large one. A, n a fairly, really big one over there. All right, let's attack. Kill the small one. I don't think I'm able to blind these things, but I could ignite it. That worked. Nice to set it on fire. Ooze plasma. Yeah. Just don't trust any indoor under underground area. Golden Obel. Is this oh names of the dead. So they bury them down here too. Candles are still lit. Peridot. Let's go on. Continue forward. I do believe we have quite the experienced and powerful party now. It may be possible to confront uh, Lord Raderick now. But uh, I'll continue exploring the city. Because as far as my eyes see, this is quite extensive. I shall be quiet as a calm sea, which is not very quiet. The Bailey con is constructed. It's been informed. Oh, yes, I forgot that uh, a minor adventurer is added. That's what uh, the steward has let me know. In two days, 18 hours. We could make it back and send off some, one of our crew if they wanted to. Obviously, there's some small job to be done. The Eastern Barbican Gates passes to the Wood End Plains. We came that way to come to Defiance Bay. Hmm. That's completed. Towers. The towers of Cadnua stand high above the walls of the Stronghold. Upgrading the towers will grant a perception bonus when resting at Bright Hall. It's nice. 800 copper. Three days. Yeah. Nothing in this room. Well, nothing easily seen, anyways. Okay, let's go out here. Huh? Could have a trap on it. Worth a look. Yes, I was right. It was trapped. 
I cannot disarm it. Do I want to trigger it? No. Last time I did that, I nearly died. I don't want to be cut in half by some kind of dangerous spring trap. Now we know there are traps down here as well. Oh, more lockpicks. I always use more of those. Peridot. More coin. Huh? Not sure why there's skeletons out. Uh, it's a little odd. Look. Another trap. I cannot believe I don't have the skill to disarm it without triggering it. I focus so much on disabling traps. And no one else in the party has the skill to match my own with doing that, so... Well, we've been this way. Uh, you can't go across the bridge, so... I guess we'll go across the bridge once this side is done. I really <laughs> should be going first, though. Hey, dear. Hold up. Everybody has been practicing being quiet and sneaking about. Huh? I'm tied with the best of them, though, they say. And Sagani is pretty good, too. Well. It's getting a bit ahead. But it looks like it's a... This ends up here, maybe? Now, we did come down here. Hmm. A uh, voice from the past. I wrote down in my journal, I said, Today I met Dalton, a retired adventurer in Copper Lane. He's been hearing the voice of Ro... Rona. Rowena? Rowena. His lover and comrade who died at his side almost 60 years ago. In his dream, she wanders the catacombs beneath the city. He's asked me to venture down there and search for... Uh, he couldn't be... It, I've been down here. He couldn't be more sp specific in his directions. But if she's been wandering around down here, there's bound to be some sign of her. Okay, so let's go this way. Huh? No, what's in this room? Not a. I see undead. Typically, undead don't be able to see very well, but these ones seem to be able to spot me. Since then, I'm there. Well, let's just go in and kill the damn things. The point being subtle all the time. Yeah. These are pretty tough. Settle. That's done. Two of them are pretty tough, actually. Let's, uh... Stash all these. Vessel bone. Sure. Okay. I'm on the trail. Huh? What is this? There's another skeleton over there. It's like the... It's made from skeletons. Human skeleton. Skeletal fighter. Human skeleton. This one looks like it's a... It's a wizard. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. It's coming. Hey. Huh. Mm hmm. Hmm. There's a uh, another one. Let's pull it. Let's bring him back. I want to separate him from the wizard. There it is. Attack. <laughs> A 
Was that the archer? Oh, this archer over here. Let's kill it. There's also the wizard. <sighs> Be mindful of fighting undead. I don't think that uh, fearing them was going to work. Attacking their will. Burning them could help. Yeah. How many? Yeah. There's two wizards. Let's give them a little electricity, shall we? Oh. You just said he's out of that spell. Lava will be on seek. And they're done. Huh? That was easier than I thought it would be. Yeah. I am getting a little bit hurt. Uh, injuries, sustainable fighting here. Kind of huh? careful. There's a body up ahead. Mm hmm. Some poor man's corpse that came down. Or some poor man's cor corpse. I assume he came down for some reason. Either trying to. I don't know. These are really old skeletons. I, don't, I have no idea why. Other than to adventure. It's very dangerous down here, though. Oh! Triggered a trap. As long as you stay out of it. I see another trap there, though. Or is that the trap I triggered? I shall be discreet. Hmm. Will it trigger again? No. To keep an eye out. This keeps going on and on. Found something. Trap. Let's see if I can disarm it. Hmm. seem to have the ability to disarm it. I must keep practicing with that. I just thought this would be a dead end. I was hoping for it. Who's this? There's somebody over there. Doesn't see me though. Oh, I triggered another trap. Really bad. Yeah. Right. Some fermented caribou. Huh? Finished. 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 Hmm. Can't seem to do anything to this, unfortunately. Just have to avoid it. Keep missing these traps, so. Silent. Yes? Let's go around. Hmm? Huh? There's a man in the next room. Oh. Hey! You just had to do that, didn't you? I told you uh. it was right there. Aren't you listening? Well, the only thing we can do is keep going. Nice and slow. Yeah. Sure. A revenant. We fought those before. Ader, you want to go talk to him? Hey. A lone figure in tattered robes shuffles across the chamber, muttering under its breath. As you approach, the figure halts and swivels its head towards me. Its haggard visage, visage is a uh, labyrinth of wrinkles and sores overgrown by a moss-like beard. What's this? Who disturbs Helgig's work? Its voice rattles and gurgles like that of a drowning man. You're Helig. Dalton sent me to look for Rowena. He leans back and bursts into raucous laughter. His threadbare robes drift apart, revealing an amulet and a ragged wound running from chest to throat. It spatters a black, viscous fluid on the floor with every cackle. Pretty. That old fool is still alive? I do hope he still doesn't bear a grudge for that incident. It was so very long ago. What happened to you? What, this? He points the gnarled thumb at the wound. 
Ha, huh, long story. I was one of the first Animancers in the Deerwood. Practiced necromancy, too, which is what put Dalton and his Northreach Rangers on my trail. He cackles, making a wet, burbling sound. Dalton believes that Rowena is in the catacombs. He seems to restrain another bout of chuckling. Oh, you could say that. If you were to retrieve my grimoire from Moradred, I'll let you in on the secret. Uh, all right, what do you need me to do? When Animancy started gaining popularity, I came to Defiance Bay in hopes of finding a place where my research would meet with more acceptance. Worked at the Brackenberry Sanitarium for a few months when I met Moadred. He spits a glob of black blood on the floor. Let's just say Moadred and I didn't see eye to eye. Got so bad we were threatening to kill each other on a daily basis. Obviously that bastard made good on his threat. He runs a jagged fingernail along his oozing wound. Sank a dagger into my chest while I was sleeping and dumped my body in the catacombs. You use animancy to save yourself? Oh no. Heleg waves a half-rotted hand. This is magic, and it took a great deal of rather timely preparation, I must say. Even so, it merely anchored my soul to this decaying husk, nothing like the life that was stolen from me. Heleg lets out a rattling sigh. And yet you see what a little Anguithan magic can do. My mind is my own, my memory is fresh, and my work can continue. And Moadred. Moadred keeps all that is precious to him in a trunk in his laboratory, just as he stole my grimoire. He offers you a key with a hand like claw. On your way to Brackenberry Sanitarium, then. Bring me my grimoire and my revenge, and you can have your Rowena. He chokes in a burbling chuckle. If there's nothing else, be on your way. Uh, what are those creatures behind you? Just a few personal projects, sorry souls stuck in their mortal shells. Their flesh is as dead as mine, though their minds are not as well maintained. They flock to me like worms to drakes. They're not half as intelligent, but... He, he watches as one stumbles into a desk. They serve for amusement. <laughs> I was just exploring the catacombs. The figure aims a gnarled finger at the door. Then go, and thank your gods I'm not hungry. What are you doing down here? Research. A hodgepodge of animancy and necromancy. I have peace and quiet, as well as an abundant supply of subjects. I'll see about getting that grimoire. Farewell. I don't trust this guy. Not at all. But it's... If it gets us answers for Rowena, maybe it's worth doing it after all. <laughs>